This is my rig LX200 Mead on an equatorial mount. I don't have the dew shield on because I'm waiting for dark. But I wanted to take a picture of the DWO camera installation and the EAF autofocuser I installed that are working out pretty well for me. This is the other side of the scope. I put the uh, two heater controller on this side to help balance the scope horizontally. I have a finder scope on it. And a red dot. I have a star shoot guide camera with a guide scope. And a little close up now of the ZWO and the EAF. I modified the micro focuser to use the um, E. AF and you may can see it I don't know but when I start out I got the micro focuser like halfway out This is going to be a video of my uh, routine setup for my LX200 GPS telescope by me. First thing I do is I'll check the ASCOM components. I have the telescope connected and on and uh, I've done my star alignment as well as my polar alignment. So I'll do connect and the telescope is highlighted. There are other objects you can hook up to ASCOM as well through this thing. I choose and uh, properties is me generic. <clears throat> and ASCOM, uh, the COM port is eight. I say OK, and we hit OK, and connect. <clears throat> the very first thing that I do when I skipped is device manager to see where my COM ports are because I have to set up and take down at different sites and so I may not have the same COM port all the time. So device manager brings up the COM port. If you're connected they should show up. And I got that. And I just as a rule of thumb run the diagnostic uh, to see where we are. The next thing I do is I bring up nebulosity because usually what I do is I star line with a eyepiece, but I balanced my telescope with my camera components and everything I'm going to use for imaging uh, prior to uh, getting started up. So uh, the eyepiece would sometimes be a different uh, focal view than uh, some others. <clears throat> so we're going to bring up C. Uh, I've got to do a uh, 
Got to connect the camera since it is connected. Uh, ASI. I'm gonna put it at one second. I'm gonna do frame and focus. This brings up a bullseye. And as you can see, I'm I'm near about there. I may not be in good focus. Usually with an eyepiece, it's it's a big donut like that, but it's much bigger. So I'm going to eyeball the focus instead of using a batten off, batten off mask to get it near focus. I'm going to say that's pretty good. And I'm going to slew it over to the bullseye. And see, ASCOM is doing its diagnostic. That's why that screen came up. So, that's in the bullseye. Let's go to guide scope. And we'll turn on the guide camera. Just going to turn on the camera. And we're going to let it loop to see if I'm so I'm in the I'm, I'm all optically aligned I did that earlier so but sometimes you have to adjust for this guide scope target window to be the same as your cameras nebulosity view so we are aligned there so I can abort the nebulosity And I'm going to stop this and I'm going to disconnect it because I'm going to do it again in just a minute. All right. So it's we're going to exit that. Now let's bring up Stellarium. You connect Stellarium uh, by using this little icon right here or you can go into the configure window this is to me easier I have my profiles already made so I do this one's my ASCOM my LX my home and maybe me generic and if you want to check to make sure what your drivers are you just click on the wrench and you choose ASCOM telescope and you Pick from here. I use me generic, me generic, generic, <clears throat> and you hit on properties, and you see that it's kind of grayed out, and it's okay. So because it's using the same COM port, say okay, and say okay, and then you say connect. And it's going to Spica, which is what star I am on. One other thing you can do, you say you could click on Spica if it'll do it. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, we'll minimize this and we'll bring up Nina. And you go to your options, and I'm going to pick my profile for this telescope. And it's going to be that one. It's basically low profile. Good equipment. Connect your camera. And then turn on the cooling. I do have a focuser. It's my ZWO EAF that I modified to fit the Mead micro focuser. It connects my telescope, and you notice it says Mead gen generic. So I'm click connect it. It's connected. And uh, PhD. I think maybe we need to connect 
EHD. So it's, I'm using the Star Shooter Auto Guider, Star Shoot Auto Guider, and I'm using the me generic ASCOM again. And uh, you just say connect all. They're connected. All right, and we want to go to guider, and we want to connect to it. So it comes up and it's connected. So now we are at everything's connected. Uh, I'm going to click on imaging, and if you want to image to see where you, if you are. I put it on. Uh, I'm gonna put it on one second because it's a bright star. I'm gonna loop it just so we can see it. Take a shot. I want to turn on the bullseye, and you can see we're you know almost dead center. Okay, and so we're good there. Now, before you go turn on other cameras and things to run other things like plate solving and autofocus, or you have to cut off whatever you're taking pictures of. So I'm going to sh shut that off. I'm going to go to autofocus, and I'm going to tell it to start autofocus. See how well it does.